Catholic Church do nothing that the Bible says. They created their own entire doctrine and they used their religion to oppress black people, to oppress Hispanics, to oppress Native Americans. And you think God is with your funky religion. You are to your goddamn mind. And that's why we should never join their religions. You understand? Because they can't condemn what's right, excuse me, what's wrong. They can't tell you what's right and wrong. That's a problem, man. At what point in life do we get where we can't speak out about what's simply right? Westworld. 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 Westworld
than we get when we can't speak out about what's simply right and wrong. We've in a bad place. Thank you, sister. Grab a fly and you it, sis. We are in a bad place that we can't say what's right and wrong. It's wrong to molest children, white man. I don't know if anybody told you this. It's wrong to touch children. I don't care if you're the pope. I don't care if you're a bishop. I don't care if you're a cardinal. Whatever weird positions y'all got in that filthy Catholic church. It is wrong to molest children and nobody has called you out on it. You sit in them churches comfortable while you destroy lives. You sit in that church comfortable while you destroy our community. You want to know why these black men and Hispanic men are murdering the way they are? Because they were molested and nobody cared about their trauma. They did not get justice, so guess what? They gonna get justice on their own, and I don't blame them. If you a brother or sister out there, you been molested, let me help you. You ain't gotta get your own justice, man. You can come in here and become somebody that was never molested. You can come in here and become somebody that was never violated. And you can come up here and protect our brothers and sisters from being violated and molested. You understand? Because the Christian church ain't gonna do it. The Christian church knows children are being molested and nobody speaks up. Nobody says anything. They tell you to come sit down at the Thanksgiving dinner with your child molested. Meaning if you go and have Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, Sunday dinner, sitting right across the damn table from the person that molested you. And you're supposed to act like everything is okay. And everything is normal. And everybody knows. Your mother, your grandmother, your aunts, everybody knows this is a child molester in your family. And nobody speaks up. I think you're a hypocrite. You can't open your mouth against Diddy when you got Diddy's in your family. You ain't willing to talk about it. You got R. Kelly's in your family. You ain't willing to talk about it. And we gonna tell the truth. Let's tell the whole truth. Our community is destroyed because we follow after the white man's religion. Thank you, sister. Our community is destroyed because we follow after the white man's culture. It is not our culture to molest children. That ain't our culture, man. Black and Hispanic culture is to protect children. That's our culture according to the Bible. But you know why there's so much child molestation in our communities? Because we too busy wanting to be like our oppressor. We too busy wanting to be like who he is. And we think his way of life is better than God's way of life for us. You're gonna find out in just a second, all these crimes and sins you committing in the dark, it's coming to light. This one thing you better learn about P. Diddy and the rest of these celebrities. He's not the only one that's gonna be found out. You think you're gonna be able to commit those sins you committing behind closed doors and anybody else gonna find out? If you are a child molester, you will be exposed. That's right. You will be exposed. If you are doing things in the dark and you think anybody gonna find out, P. Diddy got the same thing. And he got way more money than you. He got power and connections to make sure things don't get exposed. And guess what? It still got exposed. You know why? Because God is bringing it to life. You better not be pretty good. If you are doing things in the dark that God says not to do, stop today. You better stop today. And you better make it right. You better make it right. And the way you make it right is you dedicate your life to doing the opposite of what you've been doing. That's, right. That's how you make it right. Brothers back here used to sell drugs. Guess what? Brothers have dedicated their lives to making sure that never happens. You understand? Brothers back here used to harm our own people. And brothers back here now make sure that we protect our people. Everything that you do in the world, it is your job to come in the truth of the Lord and change. It's your job to change and to make right what you have done. If you have sold destruction in our community, now you have to come and sow peace in the community. Now you gotta come and bring families together. If you somebody that slept with another man's woman, you gotta stop that and now you gotta make families. Now you gotta protect families. If you were someone that destroyed children and women, now you gotta come back here and protect children and protect women. You gotta change. That church ain't telling you how to change. They telling you God loves you while you're a 50 child molester. I don't know what, what, what type of nonsense y'all teaching. The God of the Bible hates sinners. Right. The God of the Bible is not with child molesters. Right. You think you're gonna go to heaven with the child that you molested and y'all gonna be there together? Right. No, you ain't gonna turn the kingdom of heaven into your Thanksgiving dinner. Right. That's what you won't do. You understand? 
Let me show you in the Bible, God hates sinners. You understand? Get Ecclesiastes 12 and 6. Because the church will tell you what? That God loves you just the way you are. That is not true. That is not true. I know it feels good to tell yourself that while you're a filthy sinner, while you're selling drugs and getting high and molesting children and raping women and lying and stealing, and you believe that God loves you and all that filth. That's not true. Right. And that's why nobody goes to the church and actually changes. Right. Because they're not telling you the first step to change is to admit what you are. Right. If you go to rehab right now, what's the first thing they tell you you got to admit? That you have a problem. You got to go with Alcoholics Anonymous and stand up and say, Hi, I'm Jamal and I'm an alcoholic. That's the first step to change it, is admitting that you are, in fact, somebody that is wrong and the thing that you do is wrong. The church will tell you that you can live a lifestyle that's against God and somehow God still loves you. That don't even make sense. Read what you got. It's Ecclesiastes cut, chapter 12, verse 6. For the most high. For who? The most high. The most high. This is talking about God. This ain't talking about our opinion. Everybody claims to love God. Everybody claims to follow God. America says, God bless America. White people love to say America was founded on the principles of God. America has nothing to do with the God of the Bible. Right. You understand? This is what the Bible says. Who? For the most high. Hate it. The most high God does what? Hate it. Spell that word. H-A-T-E-C-H. -H. It says the God of the Bible hates. You understand? Now hold on. The Christian church taught us that God is all love. The church taught us that God does not hate, that God is all love. And we're reading in the Bible that God is not all love. God, in fact, does hate. I know that's breaking your Christian heart, your Catholic heart, because you want to continue to molest children and think that God loves you. You want to continue to destroy families and think that God loves you. You want to continue to sell drugs and steal and commit adultery and think that God loves you. Who does God hate? For the most high, hate him, sinner. For the most high, hate him, who? Sinner. Sinners. You cannot go against God and believe that God loves you. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, man. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe to this channel. And also, please, go to isupk.com and pay your tithe. Drop me some cash so we can move around this planet like we need to, man, and do the things we need to do. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. They're one